boy. Oh boy. I was a little hairy. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. So if you remember, uh, it was like two videos ago, uh, Josh and I partnered up and we bought a tractor for the Freedom Compound. It's going to help us uh, maintain the fields, uh, mowing the brush down with our brush cutter. Uh, we have a grading bucket, or a, uh, I, I don't actually know what they're called, but the thing that attaches on the back that Mike Morgan was using to fix a sweet pothole. Uh, we got one of those to help maintain the driveway when it gets a little packed in and, you know, crappy. And then we got a snow plow for it as well for wintertime use. Obviously there's a front bucket on that, you guys saw that. Uh, you know, gave it a tune up, oil change, oil filter, spark plugs, hydraulic fluid, hydraulic filter, uh, greased all the fittings, gave it a nice bath. I uh, got it over to the Freedom Compound here. I took it up to the shooting range and uh, it was pretty awesome. It was a little bit muddy. Uh, Josh took it the whole way to the top of the hill. So I think it's only fitting that I get to take it to the top of the hill now and break it in, see what it's capable of, and uh, possibly test out that grading bucket thing. Uh, if anybody knows naming that, let me know. Uh, I'd like to call it by the proper name. So I'm going to get the camera set up get the tractor out and uh, let it rip. Okay, so the tractor, that was so unbelievably smooth, bringing it up that hill. Um, so the plan is, is to, at some point in time over the next year, put a food plot in up here. Uh, that means we're going to have to clear a lot of this brush, uh, a lot of these trees. Now, most of the trees are already dead, like this one snapped off, you got a bunch of dead trees over there. Uh, a couple of these smaller ones, like this one, still alive might end up leaving some of those um you know the deer do like trees but for right now i want to see how this thing does with the front bucket since i'm used to skid loader controls and being able to see my bucket i can't really see this one so i'm just going to try 
pushing this brush around a little bit and uh, seeing what I can make happen. Now I'm seeing a stump there and a stump there, and I see one up there, so that's the kind of stuff I gotta watch for. Okay, so obviously that was a little rough. Like I said, I'm used to skid loaders. Um, now, what I learned pretty quick was that if I'm trying to clear brush with this bucket, it's a heck of a lot easier to raise the bucket higher and then drop it so I can see the front blade of the bucket. And then I can just kind of work that from the side. And, uh, you know, it's, like, it's gonna take practice. Uh, I've never really used a tractor like this before, so uh, practice makes perfect, and I'm more than happy to practice this thing. So we're gonna go ahead, take it back down the hill, and uh, hook up that grading bucket, uh, whatever it's called, and uh, see if we can kind of play around with that to learn how to use that real quick. Now, one thing is very important. If, uh, you know, whether it's a dump truck, a tractor, a quad, dirt bike, anything, uh, there's a general rule of thumb where whatever gear you would come up the hill in that's the gear you want to be in going down the hill or one lower so uh, we're gonna go ahead probably ride this thing down in third gear uh, using the engine braking and uh, that way we don't overheat the braking system uh, experience any sort of brake fade I don't know if you get that on tractors but I know that happens on dump trucks so I would assume it's the same concept uh, you know just like I said, utilize the engine braking as well as the actual brake system. Okay, so we got park, high end, low end, or one and two, reverse. We wanna be in one, uh, low end, so then this is first, second, third, fourth. You put it in high end, this becomes fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So like I said, we wanna be in one and ride this down in third gear just to be on the safe side.
So I want to try to stay out of this rain rut on the way down just so that the tractor isn't leaning front heavy. Oh boy. That wheel locked up. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was a little hairy. This wheel locked up the whole way down. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was uh, a little scary. <laughs> All good though. All good. Like I said, go down the hill and the gear you would come up in. That was sixth gear. I should have been in fifth. These things are dangerous. <laughs> so now my guess is, is I need to drop these pins, uh, well these hooks, so that they start digging into the ground before the blade hits. So what I've gathered from Mike Morgan's video was that the hook, the hooks or claws, whatever you want to call it, those are going to pull up all the rock and then the blade is going to make sure everything is nice and level. So let's try that. So now we're gonna lower this till just the hooks touch, and then we'll lower it a little bit more so that the weight is pushing down a little bit. So as we drive forward, those hooks should dig in to the driveway. All right, so that actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, I thought I was going to have a lot more difficult time, uh, you know, watching in front of me while keeping track of what the bucket was doing on the back 
but I mean all in all that that went pretty smooth um, now I know I turned up a lot of dirt this was primarily a dirt road when I got here um, you know I've been adding gravel a little bit at a time over the last year and a half so we actually are supposed to get some rain here tonight I'm hoping that that kind of washes and settles the dirt leaves me with some nice stone and then over the next few years I'll just keep building this up and uh, you know hopefully get a really nice driveway for us um, but I mean all in all it it worked out really nice it, it cleaned this all up it brought a lot of the gravel to the top um, now I know that past my truck there going up that hill I have a pretty bad rain rut on the left hand side and you can hear my phone going off because all the cameras are around here um, I am pretty anxious to kind of use that grading bucket on that hill to help fill that rain rut in. Uh, I think that's really, really going to help, and it's really going to help make a difference uh, with the way that that stays. You know, hopefully we won't have to keep throwing gravel down on that to get that rain rut filled in. Uh, this way we'll kind of rake it all down, make it look real nice and uh, nice and smooth so that we can drive up to the lead dump. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, the, like I've said before, uh, tractors are kind of newer machines to me. Uh, for the most part, I've, as far as machinery goes, I've always dealt with skid loaders. Uh, and then in the, over the past probably 10 years, we've added excavators to our fleet. So I've been fortunate enough to learn how to use those. However, tractors, never really had one like that. Never really got to drive one. So this is all new to me. Learning how to use this thing is pretty important because Josh and I do want this to be a piece of machinery that we can count on for years and years and years and hopefully our kids will learn how to drive. Um, you know, old machines like this will run forever if you take care of them. So it's just a matter of keeping up on the maintenance, making sure we're not pushing it past its limits, uh, using it, abusing it. Um, so that's, that's gonna be the primary goal for that. Um, you know, I'm excited. I think it works great. It drives smooth. It handled that hill like a red-blooded champion. Uh, even coming down it when the wheel locked up and scared the bejesus out of me. That was, that got the old old ticker going. And then even coming down that, the, the gravel, it, it was, uh, scared the bejeebers out of me. So, yeah, uh, I mean, that's going to do it for today, though, uh, you know obviously had a pretty productive day it was great uh, but for now I'm gonna go home see Rachel and Eleanor and uh, just enjoy the evening have some dinner with them and man I love it here so want to thank you guys for tuning back in to another episode of gunpowder and freedom if you liked what you saw please click the like and subscribe don't forget to like us on Instagram don't forget to check out our store on Etsy and then come back here and drop me a comment let me know your thoughts on it if you guys do see something you like no pressure to buy anything, but if you do see something you like, there's a promo code in the description underneath the link for our Etsy shop. Go ahead and use that and save yourself 5%. So thank you guys for the continued support. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I appreciate it. And hopefully we can keep this channel rolling and growing and having fun. So thank you guys. I'll see you next time.